Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft video. Before we get started, make sure you do actually subscribe. Um, otherwise, I will actually get very sad. So, just not to make me sad or anything, uh, make sure you uh, press the subscribe button. It's very easy to do. But yeah, let's get um, started in today's video. And this time, we're going to be talking about um, breeding mobs. And in particular, I've listed every single mob in the game that you can breed and how to breed it, um, as well as, you know, any other interesting notes. So, Let's first get started with the farm animals. So here we have the sheep, the cow and the mushroom. They all really need um, wheat to breed, so one wheat piece for each animal. And as with most other mobs, basically you um, feed one uh, animal, the item in particular. So for example, let's say I'm feeding the sheep wheat. The sheep will then be in like a love mode for, I believe it's 20 seconds. And it will search for anyone else who is in love mode, or another sheep in particular, or another animal. And once it's found that, then um, they will make a baby, and then they can't enter love mode for 5 more minutes. And with the sheep in particular, there are items or there are things it can do to um, grow up quickly. And in particular, um, it's actually eating grass. So you can see this sheep here has um, ate some grass. Now, sheep and grass are best friends. So if you're a baby sheep, then eating grass makes you go. Um, faster and if you are a grown sheep then if you are sheared is it sheared or shorn? either way um, eating grass will make you will help you regenerate that wool faster so for automatic wool farms make sure that your sheep can eat grass um, I might make a video on automatic wool farms later um, but later I'll do that um, but similar concept apart from the grass thing for cows and mushrooms so we just give one wheat to a cow and then another wheat to another cow and if they're together then they'll make a baby cow. Now pigs um, also farm animal funny enough but instead of wheat they eat potatoes, carrots or beetroot. Now personally I'm not a big fan of pig farms because they don't really do much but um, I would recommend carrots as your food source for pigs. I've already talked about carrots um, in this video there about their 10 tips and villages but I like carrots, okay? Now for chickens. Now, originally, of course, you can only really breed them with wheat seeds, but now you can breed them with uh, virtually any other seeds. So, we have wheat seeds, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, and beetroot seeds. And again, similar to these, you take one seed to give to one chicken, take another seed, give to another chicken, make sure they're close enough together, and then bam, you have a um, baby chicken as well. Also, you can throw eggs and they have a small chance of spawning in baby chicken as well. That is how you make an automatic egg farm or chicken farm, which, you know, I might make a tutorial on that as well. Why not? So, let's move on to pets and tameable, oh dear, and tameable uh, mobs. So, here we have the cat. Now, to breed the cat, you need to give it either raw quads or raw salmon, not cooked cod or salmon and also the cat must be tamed first and you do that again just by feeding it to raw cod or salmon now here we have an ocelot, we should have an ocelot I believe it despawned there we go um, ocelots also same as before except they're not tameable but you feed them a raw salmon or a raw fish or cod now for dogs now dogs you can feed um, any kind of meat, cooked or raw. Now, I would suggest rotten flesh because that's like the only meat that you wouldn't actually eat. Now, in bedrock edition, you can also um, make the baby wolf grow up faster by feeding it fish. I believe it's also cooked fish as well. So you can give it um, tropical fish, puffer fish, salmon, cod, etc. As a side note, you can't breed these two with other types of fish, like pearl fish or tropical fish, only salmon and cod. But that's an interesting note for bedrock players as well. If for some reason you have loads of salmon lying around, um, you can grow up your little baby puppies into big strong wolves that attack mobs and then get killed. Unlucky. Now, horses, donkeys and llamas. How can it make the llama good? They can be bred by golden apples, enchanted golden apples, or golden carrots. Obviously, because um, I'm really good in my survival worlds, so I only breed them with uh, gold, enchanted golden apples. I've actually an enchanted golden apple farm. Maybe make a video on that. 
uh, for April Fools. Um, but essentially, oh dear. Anyway, um, sh what you can do is you can breed two horses um, again, like with these slots, um, with an apple, enchanted apple, or carrot, and you can do the same with a donkey. Or you can be extra special and spicy and breed a horse with a donkey to produce a mule. Now a mule um, is faster than a donkey, uh, but it can also carry um, a, some chests or a chest. So basically it's the best of both worlds, but unfortunately they are serile so they won't breed, just like in real life. Now to uh, make the horse or baby horse or donkey or mule go faster, you can give them these items, hay bale, hay, apple or sugar. And I believe, for example, the hay bale will make the horse grow faster than hay. Now we have a llama here because you can also breed llamas, so if you have a um, tame llama, which I don't think this one is, mm, not yet, no problem, okay. But if you want to breed llamas, then you just give them a hail bale each, and then boom, a baby llama. And you can make the baby llama go faster by giving it sweet, so that's quite interesting if you want to have a huge caravan farm, like that poor wandering shader had, oh, we don't talk about him. Um, then you can. You can simply breed your llamas. Now let's talk about other mobs you can breed. First of all we have rabbits here. Um, don't really know why you would breed rabbits, but yeah, let's say you do. Very simple. Dandelion, carrots or golden carrots. Um, just give one each again to the rabbit and um, bam, you get a baby rabbit as well. Turtles. Turtles are a bit different in how they breed, so just like um, with under animals, you give them um, a sea grass each, although an interesting point in creative mode, um, sea turtles, or in Java edition at least creative mode, sea turtles don't follow your, well you, if you are holding sea grass, but that's a side note. But the interesting thing about turtles is that they have um, a special breeding mechanism, so you would give a seagrass to two turtles and then one basically the mother turtle or be pregnant with the eggs and I do biology so I know how eggs work you can like hold eggs okay but the turtle would appear a little bit bloated and essentially what she'd do is she would swim back to her birthing beach or like the original beach where she spawned in and then she would lay some eggs and the eggs would eventually hatch and be careful about the eggs because loads of fossil mobs, for some reason, just like breaking the turtle eggs. Um, not very nice of them, I know, but uh, Minecraft is a cool game. So to recap, to breed sea turtles, give one sea grass to a turtle, another sea grass to another turtle, and then follow the turtle, which is you know swimming away, back to its beach where it should lay some eggs, and then just you know put some fences around the eggs. I believe skeletons can shoot through as well. So make sure you put some high fences. Now bamboo, or pandas to be um, precise. Pandas are again unique in how they breed. So you don't just give a, pand uh, a bamboo to a panda. You need to have um, enough bamboo in a particular radius around a few pandas. And I believe the number is eight bamboo around um, in a five block radius. So if for example I had another panda here, then those two would breed and they'd make a baby panda because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bamboo in a five block radius. So that's very interesting. Foxes. Now, foxes are bred using sweet berries. Similar to mobs over there, you just give them a sweet berry um, each and then they would breed. But there is um, additional problems. Now, Foxes or adult foxes and actually spawning ones would run away from a player So if I had a fox here and I approached it, it would uh, go away as fast as it can Now you can counteract this by sneaking up to them just by you know holding shift if you're on the keyboard uh, And then they would be okay with it. Now the good thing though is that any baby that you make by breeding two foxes Would actually be tamed towards you so it wouldn't just um, run away now, wood still follow its parents, so you might need to do this with you know, slice and dice to get your baby fox. Um, but if you do want a baby fox, find some foxes, sneak up to them with some sweet berries, um, 
wait until they breed um, turn off the monitor quickly kill them and then turn your monitor back on so there are no witnesses and then bam you have your baby fox bees um, I believe are quite similar to these mobs over there you just need to give them a flower um, any kind of flower will do and then they will breed so that's very interesting now we are however missing some mobs um, because the rest of the mobs or you know the rest of the mobs that you bred are actually found in the nether so obviously because I've planned this video I have um, another portal here and here we go we have the hoglin and the strider so now let me try and get this right so the hoglin here again um, can be bred uh, whether it's smart to breed them or not, you know, that is debatable, they are quite fearsome creatures. In fact, if I was in survival, the hoglin could still hit me through this fence gate. Um, so definitely be careful. But how do you breed them? Simply get um, a crimson fungus, give it to one hoglin, then another crimson fungus to another hoglin, and you get the idea they are bred. Now, conversely, for this strider, look at that strider there, just chilling. I sit on the other side of um, I made it a nice small um, lava bath. I actually quite like lava baths in real life as well. It's good for your skin. Um, doesn't leave much left, but you know, sacrifices you make. But anyway, you need warped fungus to breed them. And now, if you bred all these animals so far, you would actually get a special reward. Now, hopefully, this works. Bam. So you get the nice two by two reward for breeding um, all these animals here so uh, you know the ones I've shown you in the overworld and the two mobs here and as you saw it's a special reward and it's quite cool you get sort of XP as well and also it's like a show off one because especially breeding things like hoglins and striders it's not easy so yeah however you may have noticed we actually have um, one more mob that can be bred and for that we need to go to the end Bam. Okay, so the last mob that can be bred, although it's not particularly that you breed them, but they can be bred, um, is a villager found um, not normally in the end. I don't actually know how this one was here, funnily enough, but he seems to be chilling with the Enderman, although the Ender Dragon is still quite far away, thank God. Um, but I did make a video on breeding villagers, but I will quickly recap. So essentially, there are two things that you need for a villager to be breeding, and they will breed automatically, you don't need to. Well, what the hell? This is sharpness 200. Okay, that's a strong end demand. Um, but villagers need, in their inventory, because they have an inventory, either 3 bread, or 12 carrots, or 12 potatoes, or 12 beetroot. And then you need two villages with these requirements each. So in total, between them, you need at least six bread, twenty-four carrots, or potatoes, or beetroot, and so on. And then they also need to realize or notice that there's a spare bed as well. So this villager has probably claimed this bed. Had another villager, he'd probably also claim a second bed that I'd put down. And then if they see there's a third bed that can be easily accessed by the baby villager, then there will breed. Now I have made a video, and I'll hopefully I'll put up a card. Um, linking to it about how you breed villages and ways that you can do that easily but yeah they are the last mob that you can breed unfortunately you can't breed endermen or ender dragons or with this or anything exciting unless you have a, um, a mod but yeah well, thank you for watching anyway hope you enjoy this video hope you also in your survival world try and um, get that achievement and yeah goodbye